one of the most important things we can all do to improve our heart health is to lose unhealthy belly fat. And that's because the research has conclusively shown that excess belly fat increases heart disease risk even in a healthy weight adults. You see extra weight carrying your abdomen as opposed to your legs or any other part of your body more than triples, yes, triples your risk for heart disease. And while we all know that proper nutrition and exercise are the processes by which we lose this fat, but do you know where that fat goes when you actually lose it? No, that's okay because I'm here to explain it to you. And I believe that by you understanding the process of how you exactly lose fat, you're gonna be much more successful in both your weight loss and your heart health transformation efforts. So when someone loses a bunch of weight, where the heck did all that fat go? Remember, we know that fat is energy. And if you recall from science class way back when, there's something called the law of conservation of energy, which simply states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. And since fat is energy, it must go somewhere when it leaves your body. So where exactly does it go? What do you think? Do we lose fat through, say, sweat? Reasonable guess, but only to a small extent. What about urination or defecation? Do you lose fat from going to the restroom? Another reasonable guess? But uh, not really. Let me go and demonstrate exactly how fat is lost. Wait for it. <sighs> you see that? I just breathed. I got skinnier and I lost fat. You see, when you breathe in, you breathe in O2 oxygen. When you breathe out, you breathe out primarily CO2, carbon dioxide. Without getting too sciencey, everything you eat at its base molecular level is composed of long chain carbon molecules. And when our bodies require energy for movement or exercise, those carbon chemical bonds are broken to produce that required energy and a molecule called ATP is produced. But we're left with this free floating carbon molecule in our bodies that is very dangerous and needs to be cleared. So what it does, it attaches to the O2 oxygen molecule that we have breathed in and then breathed out is that carbon dioxide, that CO2. That carbon molecule was literally the fat that was in your body seconds earlier, being exhaled out and removed, thus making you skinnier. So the key to losing fat is to burn carbon. And we do that by simply increasing our respiration, inhaling and exhaling more rapidly. To, to, to do this, you're gonna go ahead and choose any activity you enjoy, like walking, jogging, swimming, anything that you personally like, and gradually increase the intensity of that exercise until you've increased your rate of respiration, aka carbon burn, aka fat burn. Try to maintain that activity for 20 to 40 minutes in duration, and soon you're going to be seeing less of yourself in terms of your waistline, which in turn is going to improve your cardiac health. Now, if you want inf more information and tips like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And you can also visit me at the 30dayheartfix.com for more free tips and tools. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.